Item number SCP-010, Callers of Control. Object class, safe. Description. SCP-010 consists of a series of six apparently identical cast iron collars with numbered metal tags and one remote control. The control is SCP-0101. The callers are SCP-0102 through 0107. The callers contain intricate electronic components and are powered by small 100 volt batteries. These batteries are rechargeable. The remote is a heavy black box resembling an old style handheld radio transmitter and receiver with a primitive blue and white cathode ray screen and a series of more than 100 unlabeled buttons as well as a frequency tuner. Through trial and error, the frequencies of all six currently found callers have been discovered. A label in Russian is stamped into the metal along with a logo consisting of workers building a pyramid. No official Russian corporation or government agency uses this logo or matches the word stamped into the metal. Placing the collar around the neck of a person and securing it allows one to control their every movement with the remote. It is also capable of producing an adrenal response and activating or deactivating the sympathetic nervous system. The most abnormal feature of the collars is the effect they have on the body morphology. They allow the user of the remote to reconfigure the shape of the victim to an extent that is apparently only limited by the knowledge of the programming language of the remote. Special Containment Procedures The objects comprising SCP-010 are to be kept in numbered locked boxes in a high security facility. They are not to be worn except by test subjects. SCP-010 are only to be removed from storage for testing. Addendum 0101 History SCP-010 was discovered in the basement of a lone man in the Midwestern United States after a local disappearance was connected to him. When the police raided the man's house, they found SCP-010 as well as several dead bodies. One of the bodies was identified to be the man. The others were several other missing persons. Cause of death seemed to be mass suicide. However, there were signs of significant struggle first. Addendum 0102 Disassemble Experiment Test 1 SCP-0102 taken apart piecewise, the parts labeled and several photographs taken, then reassembled. Result After reassembly, SCP-0102 continues to function. Test 2 SCP-0108 constructed identically to SCP-0102 but with the closest approximations available to the unreplicable components. Result: SCP-0108 fails to function. Test 3. Unreplicable components from SCP-0102 placed into proper locations on SCP-0108. Result: SCP-0102 ceases functioning with removal of components. SCP-0108 begins functioning. Test 4. Components return to SCP-0102. Replicable components in SCP-0102 replaced randomly with replicas. Result. SCP-0102 begins functioning with return of components. Changing replicable components for replicas does not significantly reduce functionality. Replacement of a damaged transistor decreased time from transmission to effect of SCP-0102 response to commands entered in the remote by 12%.